Hey there, I'm Casey. For our 13th anniversary, Ariel and I went down to Homestead, Florida to go to Fruit and Spice Park for a few days. So in this video, we're gonna show you around and even some of the weird fruit that we got to try. Check it out. Stop two in our trip so far is gonna be the Fruit and Spice Park. So we're gonna take you along with us. Get a little fruit sample powder. And this middle one's Balimbi? Yeah. Yeah, sour. That's the sour one, yeah? yeah. And what's this one? Like a banana? Uh, that's a Bayante Cajol banana. And what kind of jackfruit was it? Uh, it's a ceiling jackfruit, so it doesn't have a name to it, but it's a good variety. Thank you. Look at this iguana that just popped out. Here's a Lang Lang tree. It smells so good. And an iguana. Here's a huge miracle fruit. And there is a humongous mame seedling. Here's an ice cream bean seedling. Too bad there are no fruit on the ground. This is a mame, we think. What's this one? Another mame? No, it's Sacodilla. Look in the shade. This tree is a green sapote. And here is a humongous sapodilla. That. What's this one you think? Another mame? They make the fruit right on the bark. These are kaimitos or star fruit. I see them all in the tree. Star apple. Or star apple, sorry. Why is there a number of fruit? Seeds. But this is a Mimu sop or something. It's another sapodilla cousin. It doesn't look like it. Hand wash. Look at these pretty water lilies. Are these all frog eggs? Oh, looks like it's some kind of egg. Yeah, you can see all the tadpoles in there. Many of those lizards are fast. Welcome to the herb garden. There's a hedge of Monstera. And then look at these jackfruit. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. This is not jackfruit. Oh, it's a weird it is a jackfruit. It's everywhere up here. Yeah. These jackfruit are really long. Oh, wow, look at that graph. What a great observation. Oh, it smells so good. Here we have a weird looking avocado. The leaves look different. This is the Kohala Longan. Here's another lawn gan. Filled with flowers. Ooh. 
It looks like it. Oh, those are those huge lily pads we want to get. So pretty. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them. These trees are white sapote. And there's fruit all over the ground. What'd you get? Whoa. Oh, that looks pretty good. Tastes green. Now this tree is pretty cool. Look at these long panicles of flowers. And then it makes these sausage fruit. The tree is humongous. Uh, this tree is Aki. It is a fruit that is poisonous unless it ripens or opens on the tree. There, there are some, but it is very high. So these are not Aki, because although they're red fruit and they open, these are Bengar nut. You can tell by the leaves, but that looks like an Aki. So let's go see. Yeah, this tree is the Aki. I don't see any fruit. This is one of those trees that has the wide baobab. Yeah. Man, they're so fat. Here are baby Aki fruit. Oh, that's what this is? Yeah. I thought they were just like little bushes that we picked. Holy cow! Look at this monster. Oh, half his tail is missing. Here we have yellow coconuts. Oh, look, the duck is gonna go build something. This is Cecropia, or gummy worm fruit. Oh, it's not ready. It's supposed to be white. And oh. it's really pull. But this is the tree. Here we have the mango collection. You are not allowed to pick any fruit off of the trees or take any clippings. That's Beverly. I've never heard of this plant, but we thought it was a big nay. Yeah, we thought it was a big nay or something. Yeah, these trees are huge. I'm pretty sure we have this at the farm. There's very few mangoes. There's only like two. This is Glen. Looks like they're cutting these or top working them heavy pruning them. Just pruning. Yeah. Well, it's almost June here and we're just looking at their mango selection. There aren't many mangoes on the trees, so I don't know if it's gonna be a good mango year this year. Man, they also have a rainbow eucalyptus. That tree is a breadfruit. Isn't that a weird fruit? So here we have a candle nut tree. Never heard of that. Look at its blooms. And it has fruit. Hey 
Hey, there's a sapodilla. You want to scratch it to see if it has a color. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. There's other ones in there. In there? Like on the floor? Yeah. Oh, that looks really good. All right, you want to try them? Mmm. Smells so good. How is that a fruit? Brown sugar. This is one of the weirdest fruits that we have in our garden. This is noni. It's also called vomit fruit. It's extremely medicinal. Wow, here is a greenhouse. Can't wait to see what's in here. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Look how big that ginger is. Uh huh. But isn't this the one that we bought? Don't we have this one? This is just a crazy torch ginger. What the hell is that? Torch ginger, yeah. Oh, yeah, we saw this. That's the thing that smells like ginger. It smells like peanuts really weird. What are these what, yellow fruit? La Cucha. What's this? Did you find one? They're all over. You're stepping all over them. There's one right there behind you. Ew, it's soft. Oh, check out the inside. It's like a strawberry foam. Oh, I guess that could be Balimbi. I didn't see a sign on it. Yep. This is one of the prettiest tropical trees and we had it. Did we get it again? I don't know if we got it again. You can see the male flower. And then the female. All spice. Bay rum. Lemon bay. Hey, look how fat this banana is. This truly tiny banana is truly humongous. Is this in the front? No. Something else? Meat and jack or meat and bacon. Yeah. Another breadfruit with vanilla. So you can see the vanilla orchid growing up it. Elephant and yam. Yeah, that's what it's, I was going to buy these on that. Elephant and yam. Wow. Katuk, variegated Katuk. Why is everything so giant? Because it's hotter in here? So sweaty. Look how big the palm is. Oh, the ginger. This guy's just rocking out. <laughs> <laughs> All the bananas. Oh, these are ripe, so that means we can go up there and pick them. Like half the rack is ripe. You can't pick. You can only pick up. This is a mountain persimmon. And it had fruit somewhere. There they are. Here's a velvet apple. 
first time seeing this one. There's another one over there. So soft. Oh, you don't think it's right? Probably not. Because some people were throwing rocks up into the trees to get these off. Oh, that does not look right. Mm -mm. Nope. That's the tree. All that work for that? <sighs> Ugh. Not worth it. It's still hard. That I have it in my hand. This looks crazy. Oh, Roxburg fig. They're all on the ground. Yeah. What's this? This looks like a wax apple. There's some on the floor. You're not supposed to pull fruit from the tree, but we just saw someone who couldn't help themselves pull this entire banana plant down. soursop tree and you can see the soursop that smells good a little rod yeah here. smells good almost like a seedling right now we're in the mulberry section and these mulberries are huge. This mulberry here is the contorted variety. So this is the tropical American region. Look at these guys. Oh, this is probably the one that we ate yesterday. Look, people picking them, they're not even ready. Yay, we found them. These are the Jabotacabas. See, it makes fruit directly on the bark. And there's the flower. Look, those vines are coming out. Wow, so these are cannonball trees. You can see one way up there. These flowers smell really good. These are the flowers, I guess. Here's a cacao. Then there's avocado. And here's a huge black sapote. Here's another fruit tree we've never heard of. We've got plums everywhere. There's more cacao. There's another one that's flowers. Yeah. But look at this ground. It's hard 
to believe that people grow in this, so be grateful for what you have, because you could be growing in straight stone. And here is another greenhouse. Wow. Oh, a cow. See all the flowers? Why does this look familiar? This looks like ice cream bean, but it's a vine. Oh, because Guarana. Yeah. Uh, so Guarana. So we can't really get any cold. There's no beans. There's beans on our Guarana. Just lots of little flowers. What's this one? American Oh, look at some fig. This bush, I think, is Patanga tuba, and here's its fruit. So I saw one on the floor, so we'll go pick that up. So here is a Patanga tuba. It kind of tastes like a mango. I'm gonna try it. Mango. So it's not like a Suriname cherry. Yeah. This is pretty good. We've never seen this tree, and it looks like a huge canistel. The leaves are huge. Oh, that coffee? What's this one? Here's a Mame Morales, and they're super long. Look at this bark. It has fruit on it. Look at this flower. Thank you. This is that Gustava. Gustavia. It smells so good. Here's another weird plant. Alright, this was on the floor. Don't know what it is. Looks juicy. Ooh, that looks weird. <laughs> Light barbecue smell. Here's some more papayas and turmeric. Ginger. And this is Fuang Tung. The star fruit. Here's this passion fruit. There's a Rolinia, little fruit on it. Here's some more jackfruit. Yeah, they're just rotting at the top. Why aren't they falling? Pin cushion tree. That's edible? This looks like the Lisa Atamoya. This tree is a tamarind. You can see all the pods up there. Here's 
Here's another tamarind tree. So let's try it. All right, so here's the tamarind. It's pretty good. Ariel says it tastes like tea, but it's really sweet. I get tea from it too. It's really sweet. Here's mountain soursop. I saw some flowers. Left and there's a mountain? It smells like a bosk pear. It smells like a strong bosk pear. Oh, and a cleaner. Like some kind of... Oh, that smells so good. So this is mountain? I guess. See how they're like limey. Here's Sonkoya. It has beautiful flowers. Here's San Pablo. And you can see he's got fruit on it. He's got some sugar apples. How do you know it's a mountain? This is a fruit. It's round with little bitty spikes. Mm-hmm. Here's allspice. Oh, look at the flowers. And there's a blooms coming. Here is the Jabotacaba, the blue grape. Thick skin. Here's a weird one. It has lots of fruit on it. Alright, here's a custard apple. So that was our trip to Fruit and Spice Park. Have you been there before? Let me know down in the comments. It's definitely a must-go-to place. We're so glad that we went and even more grateful that we are members because we're going to go back every few months as different fruits come into season to be able to try them. It's really cool that you can go and try fruit that are on the floor. It's unfortunate that some people act the way that they do, but it's still fun for those of us who play by the rules and eat them on the floor. For the next stop in our anniversary trip, we're going to go to Lara Farms and hang out with Julian and even meet Fruitful Trees himself as we get a tour around the farm and even get to eat fruit with them. Thanks again so much for watching. See you in the next one.